Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great afternoon. Thanks for joining me again. I am Pat, the Queen of Wands. All right. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything you do. Everything about me can be found in the description box on YouTube. If you'd like to book an appointment, please give me a call directly or you can just email me. Okay. Everything about me, like I said, is in the description box as far as everything I do, prices, uh, payments, and everything like that. All right. So, I got some energy for you guys just to catch up now, all right? You know, in 24 hours, shit change, okay? So, I got some energy for you guys, and it's a lot of karma going on here, okay? A lot of karma is going on right here, and somebody's creating a lot of fake accounts to stalk you. Somebody is creating fake accounts. It could be on Instagram, all right? I see something happening on Facebook, Twitter as well, okay? And, of course, YouTube, all right? But you could have blocked this person. Okay, you could have blocked this person, and this could be the very person that is doing kitchen magic on you, all right? But this is some amateur kitchen magic right here, all right, that this karmic is doing, okay? This karmic feel voided and left out, or this is how they want you to feel, all right? And that's why they're doing magic on you. This magic is no longer working, all right? And you could have blocked this person, but they could be gang stalking you here, but they're also facing karma in a situation. This person could have hacked your phone. All right, this person could be looking through your phone. They hacked your phone. They could get into your phone, your messages, your calls, your text messages somehow, okay? And you might have to get a restraining order against someone here, all right? You might have to do that, all right? So, yeah, somebody's stuck in some type of karmic bond energy, okay? And, of course, I want to give a shout out to the, um, the, <laughs> I'm so used to calling you the king of aloha, okay? But you're the spiritual gangster, okay? So the spiritual gangster, a.k.a. the king of aloha, all right? So I did, I got this in the mail, okay? And this is court in, I'm um, order in the court, okay? Order in the court, all right? I love his sugar-free, no bullshit messages, all right? This is another fucking deck that he created, all right? I think I got about uh, 50, no, I'm just kidding, but a lot of his energy because I feel like he is so talented. The things that he think of is amazing, and this is about reality, all right? And these messages are so fucking raw, and I had to do my own reading because Divine want me to know more, okay? More, okay? And somebody could be affiliated, certified affiliation with a gang, all right, and it could be some type of um, gang stuff going on here. And you know how sometimes they wear those scarves? These could be some type of colors, all right? But somebody could have gotten into the gang. They could have gotten their certification to be affiliated. Somebody could have went through that, all right? And maybe they had to go through that to do something to get there, okay? And also, it's something going on here with a Wheel of Fortune here. Something is closed off now. Something could be frozen all right, but the angels and divine is protecting somebody's will of fortune here. As you see, these angels right here is protecting, okay? All right, and um, this is another deck from the spiritual gangster, all right? And I just want to say thank you because I believe you sent me this deck and I was supposed to get a message out of it, and I did. I did my own reading, and these messages were a hell of a, all right? So I appreciate the energy and you thinking of me always. All right. And um, yeah, because divine had to stop this will of fortune or protect the will of fortune because someone right here is the devil. All right. This is devil energy. This could be someone from your past. All right. But this is someone who could be mad about a new beginning. But this is also someone definitely who has addictions. Um, This is guilt. I hear guilt. But someone is creating conflict in your life on a regular basis here. And it could be in regards to finances, money. All right. It's some truth going on here. Something could have been exposed here. Somebody could have had a surgery. Somebody's learning the truth about a situation here. All right. It could be a Scorpio involved in a situation. I got air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. I got a little regret going on. All right. Water sign energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. All right. I feel moon card energy. It's a lot of secrets and lies going on about some shit here. Okay. <clears throat> So, it's some butterflies. You guys might be seeing a lot of beautiful butterflies, all right? Not plain, just the plain butterflies, but you might be seeing these beautiful ones that have all these designs on them as well, all right? This is regeneration, all right? A lot of us is going through this awakening, all right? A transformation here, and this is part of that, seeing things, all right? Creativity, all right? Communication, 
you know stuff like that could be coming in and this is also grounding yourself all right just doing a self analysis soul searching on yourself all right this is diversity okay this is also a uh, be willing to accept other cultures as well you know the first diversify your life all right and just ground yourself and somebody can have a strong um connection to the sun you could be a leo but also mother earth energy okay beautiful mother earth and then i got the bumblebee the honeybee all right not the bumblebee i'm sorry but the honeybee but also i feel a pollinating energy here all right this could be things that's happening in the community somebody could be pollinating the community here okay is what i see here and as you see it's a lot here okay and this is the number one and seven is abundance all right so it could be a lot here going on within a community somebody could be impolating a lot of people here sleeping with a lot of people here all right but the honeybee also means a new beginning something new implanting something new as well okay so it's just this beautiful kind of energy here in the community yellow it could be a yellow candle yellow could be of significant along with this green Okay, it could be uh, some type of significance, prosperity energy here, sunlight energy, restoration. All right, is what I feel here because I feel um, intuition. A lot of us is using our intuition and two and eight, we're making the right choices here and um, to make the right choice to close out situations that don't serve us because we're using our intuition here. You guys can be seeing owls here, you know, not the America's best commercial <laughs> but that is an owl right i hear the american best commercial the eyeglass place yeah i keep seeing that owl when i said this right here i just it just popped into my head because you know that little owl talking shit but um you know you guys could be seeing owls it could be on tv it could be billboards you know i remember i was somewhere a couple of weeks ago and i seen a statue and, you know, I was like, oh, I want that. It was huge, but it was scary looking. It was too realistic. But you, you know, all that kind of stuff could be a sign or a synchronicity. Okay? It could be a sign or a synchronicity to use your wisdom. All right? Because aisles definitely mean wisdom to close out something here. Make the right choice so you can still be abundant after you close out something. Okay? Is what I'm seeing here. Okay? So let's get off into these energies, okay? And let's see what's going on. It's a karmic bond here, all right? So somebody definitely think they're royalty, all right? You could be royalty. You could have some type of royal lineage, lineage, okay? And this is a royal presence here, a regal, stepping into your own personal power and living your purpose as a leader is what's going on here. And it has something to do with marriage that is meant to elevate your soul, all right, so some of you guys do have some type of soul connection that's going to lead to marriage here. All right, and divine say you will marry someone or this person in this lifetime. Okay, and this is experiencing oneness in a marriage. Okay, oneness. All right, so yeah, because somebody right here is still stuck in karmic bonds. All right, so you are royalty and you should treat yourself as such. Okay. All right, so when you treat yourself as such, then that's the type of person or energy, you know, that you bring in for yourself, all right? Knowing your worth, your value, and having that self-love and carrying it on the outside, you know, and being selective about who you allow in your life. Everybody is not to be meant to be in your life, okay? Holy Spirit, what is this royalty? What is this karmic bond? What is it that you want us to know, okay? Yeah, because these karmic bonds, they criminal-minded. All right. Some of these people are criminal minded. Some of this could lead to jail. All right. Jail time. Illegal activities is going on here. All right. But this energy is also when um, somebody in jail, you might be in jail and you might be guided to counsel people in jail. All right. That might be some of your yeah um, energy here to share and give back from lessons that you have learned and you want to give back to other people here. All right. Somebody's definitely seeking answers through tarot, the crystal ball here. All right. Exploring med medical, mystical energies here, esoteric fields and stuff in search for answers and truth, the beginning of a spiritual search. So, so a lot of you guys could be, yeah, you know, guided towards your spiritual energy. You know, somebody in jail might be guided towards their spiritual path. All right. All right, so I, I hear a spirit baby here. 
All right. This is lessons you learn from your child, a child meant to do great things. All right. You will become a parent in this lifetime. All right. So some of us think we're not going to have kids in this lifetime. Divine said you will. And your child is going to be amazing. And your baby is meant to do great things. All right. I get the energy that someone could have a child in prison. All right. And that child might grow up and do something amazing. All right. Because they they have no other options. They have no other choice but to be great. All right. Is the energy that I'm picking up here. All right. This is shifting their perspective. All right. This is deep questioning. Seeing through the lies and the illusions. All right. And this is stop seeing life as you did once before. It's time to look at life in a different perspective. So you can move forward here. And you know. Stop worrying about being envious of others. All right. It's okay if you don't have a whole bunch of friends and a whole bunch of people in your life. All right. And it's, it's okay if people, people envy you and be jealous of you and be mad at you. You have to keep moving forward. That's their problem. That can't be your problem. And you can't let that be your problem or let them make that your problem. You have to try to keep moving forward here, all right? Because Divine said, this is not going to be your first encounter, and this will not be your last encounter of jealous and envious people, okay? So that's something that you have to learn how to have strength in, okay, in these situations, okay? Yeah, because, you know, somebody wants you to hit rock bottom here. All right? And sometimes we got to hit rock bottom to learn new things in life. To shift that perspective is what Divine is saying here. We have to learn how to set boundaries. We have to learn how to come out of our old patterns. Because we have to do that soul searching. That self analysis. Okay. And we have to hit rock bottom to know and reevaluate our life and our choices. Our decisions. And who we allow in our life. And that's what Divine is saying. And some of us had to hit rock bottom before we can see the light again. All right, we had to, okay? And this is, we had to hit life head on. We had to master situations that challenges us. And we have to learn how to push the boundaries of life, you know? Just because one situation set you back, all right? You have to find another avenue, all right? And when you're dealing with people, you have to maintain some type of boundary, all right. You have to have learned from past situations about boundaries. All right. Holy Spirit, any more messages in this deck? Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is you having that transformation. All right. Many changes throughout your life. Experience many endings. All right. All at once. All right. This is you thriving through it to change though. You could have relocated. You could have, you know, got rid of a friend group. You could have changed your job, all right? Changed situations, people, places, things in your life. That's part of your transformation. You guys could be seeing a whole hell of a lot of butterflies. But beautiful, you know, butterflies. That's really exotic looking, okay? Really beautiful, okay? Somebody could have this beautiful fluffy hair here, all right? I feel an original, authentic energy here, all right? But you had to rebirth from the bottom. All right. Divine says so you can live a long, happy life. All right. So you can be blessed with good things in life. So you can be blessed with a long journey of learning. Being happy and healthy at an old age. So you can share that wisdom. All right. With the next generation. All right. I just feel that's so beautiful. That energy right there. You learning and stuff. And you valuing yourself. All right. Not going back into situations. All right. So let's talk about this gang affiliation here. All right. I just want to hit a couple of cards. Because this deck right here is so detailed right here. You know, I'm going to have to uh, clarify a lot on this. I just feel like this is such a, a detailed deck that, you know, you don't want to pull too much of these energies here. Okay. Yeah, so right here is what I see. These are hanging out. So this is gang affiliation. It ain't no fun when the homies got a gun. All right, so somebody else got a gun here. All right, the tables have turned here. Somebody could have tried something with this affiliation, but maybe somebody else had a gun here. All right, and this is losing control. 
All right, so somebody's losing control here. This could be a feminine energy here. Somebody could be frantic, anxious, unhinged about a situation. Somebody is weakening. All right, and this is chaotic energy, argumentative, spazzy, demanding, controlling. This could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius here. All right, I just get fire energy here. Somebody is really pissed off. Somebody could be gossiping, talking a lot of shit in a situation here. All right. I feel like in this gun situation, somebody could have got shot. All right. And some type of gun affiliation. Trying to be tough. All right. Holy Spirit, what is these energies? All right. So somebody could be a Buddhist. This is that meditation energy. Somebody needs to relax. Somebody could be going to a meditation camp. All right. But also somebody could be studying Buddhism. All right. Just these energies here. All right. And drug deals. Sales, smuggling, dealer, user. All right. And somebody don't supposed to be using drugs. All right. Somebody is. All right. So somebody also could be using drugs as a form of meditation and healing. And that's what they could be saying as well. Some type of herbal energy is, you know, they're trying to say here. Maybe about these drugs. Some pills. All right. So just be careful what type of pills that y'all take in and who y'all getting them from. All right. Just because everybody could be special. Um, practicing spirituality and um wait a minute oh when they say it's official or natural yes 100 percent natural all right i'm hearing 100 percent natural all right so just be careful about who you get stuff from and what type of pills are they ask questions and stuff so all these pills, you know, not herbal, herbal or whatever they're saying. Okay. So the secret dealings coming out here. All right. Somebody have secret dealings that's coming out here. All right. So this is order in the court. So somebody's secret dealings could be coming out in court. All right. Something could be happening at night. Somebody could be getting busted here. All right. Somebody could have, um, whew. I just hear snitched, all right, on someone. It could be a setup here. Somebody could have got caught carrying something here. Okay. All right. But yeah, all right. So somebody could have got caught uh, forging documents, signatures, checks, fraud, receipts leases contracts all right and somebody could have got busted here as well all right and something's coming out about this or already have yes all right and um i want to give some shout out to um the psychic investigator that is another channel and i just was rolling through last night i don't listen to a lot of readers um because you know i read but um this one hit me my timeline and i thought that maybe i should listen to this person and this person was so thorough it's a guy and he is so cool so i just want to give him some shout good luck to your channel i think that you're doing great and you are a psychic investigator okay so um just give him some love too and along with this spiritual gangster because these cards are so detailed right here and this person you know forging documents this has been out in a lot of different readers but i feel like we're getting shadow banned because we're picking up on this energy of all these criminal activities that's going on okay yeah, so the secret's out about some forged documents and some forged signatures, some fraud, some leases, some contracts, some receipts. The secret is out about this forgery, okay? Yeah, so get ready because there's about to be a surprise visit. Somebody's about to contact you or give you a message in regards to some forged documents. All right, that's what you're about to get a message about, okay? Wow, it could be in regards to a home. A house, an apartment, a condo, 
a key. It's about your stability, a sanctuary, shelter here. All right? A bank. Somebody's about to give you some information. And Divine said, get ready because you're about to be getting a surprise visit here. Okay? About this situation here. Holy Spirit, what is the messages? Okay? Yeah. Somebody is under surveillance. Somebody is watching your every move. Somebody is being recorded, keeping tabs on you and spying on you. Somebody is sending you evil eye. Somebody got cameras set up. This is a warning here. Somebody is definitely spying on you. All right. Hmm. They could be spying on your home as well. Okay. And this is somebody is sleeping with the enemy. All right. Sleeping with the ops. Caution. Look out. Because somebody is sleeping with the ops. Okay. And this is facts are coming out. I told you guys everybody's getting mad because all of this um, stuff is coming out about all of these things that's been going on behind the scenes. And everybody's getting highly pissed off about this. All right. Because it's some monkeys out here. All right. It's some hens out here. All right. And it's some chickens out here. All right. And all of this shit is coming out here. All right. Somebody could also have a black eye, all right, in the situation here. Hmm. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, everybody's revealing this. Somebody could be at a nine of swords. They could be stressed out about this energy that's coming out here. Somebody can't sleep, all right? Somebody wants to, somebody is mad, okay? But they're mad at you, but they the one who did this shit, all right? And somebody wants to... I got to tell you, I'm taking you out so you won't press charges or you won't be there to testify against this forged document energy here. Okay? This is what I see here. That's why somebody could be watching you. All right? This could be somebody watching you while somebody's watching them. Okay? I see like two, three different cameras here. Okay? And a lot of facts is coming out. Somebody's... Um, stuff, somebody, whatever they signed to is not matching up to what somebody's surveilling, watching. It's not matching up here. Okay. I feel like somebody lied about some stuff too. All right. Yeah. I just feel like something ain't matching up here with what they have physically on camera versus what somebody see a home or something here something's under surveillance all right illegal immigration a green card deal no papers illegal occupation all right being somewhere you are not supposed to be a passport something illegal here is going on all right and somebody could be watching a home a home could be under surveillance because somebody could have some illegal documentation or paperwork Okay, so that's why I feel like something ain't matching, all right, and somebody's checking somebody out here, all right? Somebody could be sleeping with an illegal enemy, okay? It's what I see. Any more messages here? Yeah, the facts are coming out, and this is why everybody's getting pissed off and shadow banning tail readers, okay? Yeah, strangers coming against you. You don't even know some of these people, but you're getting... um shadow banned and harassed because they're coming against you because you're revealing all these type of secrets here all right you're revealing secrets about immigration here all right you're revealing secrets about forged documents okay you're revealing secrets about drug deals and this is why people pissed off at you all right gang affiliation here all right this is why people are coming at you tell readers you know me just everybody. They don't like shit being revealed here. Okay? And Divine said, Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Alright? So this is definitely somebody could be trying to... Somebody's definitely wearing a mask. Alright? And somebody could be trying to hack your phone, turn off your phone, hack your phone. Alright? And somebody's watching for... And they said, watch for clowns. Just watch for clowns. Look at this. Stealing from work. Somebody could be stealing from work, hours, property, food, money. 
And they stalkers and they getting unhinged now because they can't defeat you and they watching you and watching you. They're subscribing to your channels. They spying on you. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. They just stalking and watching and watching. They can't get enough. All right. And divine said, whoever this is and all the stuff that they're doing, five of cups is here. Somebody regrets it. Somebody regrets the fact that their truth is coming out about some type of will of fortune. This could be five to 10 people involved to 15 people involved in a situation here. And it's all devil activity. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. And divine said, look at that. They're facing karma. They're facing karma, okay, for all of this, all right? So this is what I have for you guys for this video. I hope it gave you guys some clarity. And thank you so much for the deck, all right, my spiritual gangster. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.